guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is Adi Dui and if this is your first time of watching me you are absolutely welcome so I am in my final year in school and this week is our logout week and today is our cultural day and I decided to film a get ready with me I'm going to be showing you in this video how I installed this hair this is actually a wig I'm going to be showing you in this video how I installed it and also my makeup and my entire outfit I am not a makeup artist but I still decided to film it and show you guys so if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button right down below and let me know what you think of this video in the comment section. So please stay tuned and enjoy this video. So guys, what I'm doing here is just to prepare the wig for installation. The wig is actually very new here, so I am just going to be cutting the excess lace at the front and I'm going to be cutting it as close as possible to the hairline just as you are seeing it now. So what I'm doing now is to take down the braids at the front that serves as the baby ears. And now I'm just going to be brushing it out and I'm just going to be cutting it with a scissors to get it to a shorter length and then with a blade just to get it to the length that I really want for my baby ears. So what I'm doing now is to apply my foundation all over the lace and I'm just going to be making sure that the whole lace is well covered and the purpose of this is to make sure that the lace blends well with my skin tone. So now that I am done with the wig preparation, I'm just going to move to my makeup. And before I start my makeup, I would just like to um, um, prepare my cornrows for the wig and I'm going to be using this Gorilla Snot Gel to make sure that my edges is out of the way and I'm just applying that all over my edges just to smoothen it, pull it all to the back. And so I'm just using this scarf just to make sure everything is intact and so I can concentrate on my makeup and so I'm just going to be this is not a makeup tutorial but I'm just showing you how I usually do my makeup so I'm just filling in my brows with my Davis pencil in color 18 and then I'm using my concealer to highlight And then I'm just blending the concealer out just to make sure that my brow is as natural as possible and I'm using my spoolie to brush out the edges and I'm just blending out some more just to make sure that my brow is as natural as possible so I'm using my concealer as a base for my hair shadow to here and I'm just going to be using my powder to set it and then for my hair shadow I'm using this color these two colors for my transition And then what I'm doing here is not really a cut crease. The purpose of applying concealer at this part of my eye is just to make sure that this eyeshadow that I'm putting on it will pop out more. So that's the purpose of putting the, eye, the concealer before the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to be blending that out just to make sure that everything is as seamless as possible. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my highlighter. So I'm using this concealer to just uh, make sure that the edges of my eyeshadow and eyeliner is really sharp and you know, you know, just very smooth and I'm just using this black pencil to line my waterline and I'm just applying mascara. And so I'm using this primer to prime my entire face and then I'm using this foundation because I really like this foundation because it's matte and it stays on my face throughout the whole day like it doesn't break I so I'm using my Hella Girl concealer for my highlights 
and I'm just blending that out and I'm going to be using a translucent powder to set it. So I'm not going to be contouring my face or applying blush because I don't do it on a regular day. So this is basically what I do on my face as per makeup. And so I'm just going to be setting my makeup with this setting spray and for my lips I'm going to be applying a lip balm before applying my matte lipstick. And so that's that for the makeup and let's move right into the hair. And so for my hair, since my I've already laid my edges and my head is out of the way, now I'm using Got To Be Glue to lay my wig and I'm going to be applying that just before or in front of my edges, if you get what I'm trying to say, and I'm going to be placing my wig just on top of it like that. So I'm just using my fingers to carefully place the lace on the on the glue or on the gel. It's actually a gel but it has a very strong hold. So I'm going to be using this tail comb to like press the lace down and make sure that everything is intact. So for this part, I decided to apply more got to, be, got to Be because I just felt like that place was not holding up enough. So I decided to add more to that part and just press it down. So right now, I'm just using the same Got To Be glue gel to lay down the baby ears. Okay, so now that I'm done with the baby ears, I'm going to be using this scarf to press the edges or let me say to make it live further and after some minutes, I took the scarf down and the wig is already looking very nice. The edges, everything is looking very, very nice and intact. So I'm just wearing my hair rings here. And that will be all for my makeup and hair. Now I'm just going to be showing you my bag, my shoes and my entire outfit. This is my bag and my shoes. I decided to use this medium sized bag so I could have somewhere to put my heels when my feet are hot and already you get. And so this is the outfit, this is my dress, I hope you like it. If you watched to this point, thank you and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I will catch you guys in my next video.